Hi, I just wanted to share something with you which I think is quite amusing but it's also very informative. I had to go to the dentist a couple of weeks ago. I had to have some uh, quite serious dental work done and the appointment's going to be about an hour and a half, perhaps longer. And although I knew that I wouldn't be in much pain because the dentist was going to give me an injection, I was told that there would be a lot of drilling for a very long period of time and asked if I would be okay with that. Well, I thought, yes, I'm sure that I can cope with it, um, but I want to be as comfortable as possible. So I thought, well, my solution to that would be to tap. But I didn't want to do that um, in tapping all the way through the points um, because I felt A that it would be very distracting for the dentist and B they might not understand at all you know why I was doing that and so it might actually interfere with everything that was going on. So I decided to tap anyway but I was just going to use two tapping points. The first one is the gamut point which um, is the little indentation between the little finger and the ring finger and also the karate chop so we're going to use both of those points because they help to calm us down if you can't tap in a, a situation where you know everybody's looking at you or there's a problem um, with with people around you can use some of these points very surreptitiously so that nobody knows that you're tapping and they can be very effective. So that's what I decided to do. So as soon as I got into the chair I started to just press gently on that gamut point and uh, from time to time I would go over to the karate chop point and tap there and I was getting more and more calm as we were going on and I could hear all the drilling but I was just drifting off somewhere and so much so I became so calm that I almost fell asleep and the dentist had to <laughs> keep waking me up and say would you open your mouth please so that's how effective it was for me. Then as we proceeded with, with the treatment and things progressed um, I started to think how effective this was for people who were afraid of dentistry or who were using it to just calm down uh, for you know easing discomfort in any way and as I was just thinking that thinking this would be really great um, to use and I wonder if the dentist knows about this I heard him say tap 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 and I thought this is so weird and I didn't understand why he was saying that and I thought has he seen me tapping does he know about tapping he couldn't possibly have seen me because I was doing it in such a way that it could not be detected and so I didn't say anything he obviously thought I was very hard of hearing so he he repeated it tap 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 and I just turned my head to look at him in bewilderment and he came round the front of me and he said, mouthing it very strongly, would you tap your teeth together please? <laughs> so I thought that was very amusing. I thought I'd share that with you because I've never heard a dentist say that before. Usually if they want you to put your teeth together they say would you clench your teeth together but I thought it was quite fascinating that he used that terminology tap tap tap. So I thought that would make you smile. I just also wanted to add that when I was leaving he said to me you'll probably be in a bit of pain later because I've had to cut into the gum and I would advise you to take some paracetamol to deal with the pain. I had no pain whatsoever. When the injection wore off I thought well I'm going to feel the effects of it in some way and I had absolutely no pain at all. So I think that amusing incident taught me quite a bit how effective it was and maybe it might be useful for you in situations where you're dealing with some pain or discomfort. Thank you.